Hello, my name is Robert Lane. I'm a musician and guitar tutor based in the UK. And in this video today, I want to talk about a really nice type of chord called the suspended chord. In particular, a D suspended second and a D suspended fourth, which you may hear be referred to as a D sus two or a D sus four for short. Now, what I'm going to do is show you how to play these chords and some things that you can do with them. And then in the sort of second half of the video, we'll look at some very simple music theory behind these chords, how they're built, how they work, and what we're actually hearing when we play them. Okay, let's start. So we're going to begin with a D. D major. It's probably one of the first chords that you ever learned. To remind you, first finger is on fret 2 of the G string, second finger is on fret 2 of the high E string, and your third finger is on fret 3 of the B string. You play four strings. D major, or D. Now if you take off your second finger so that you now have an open E string at the top, that is a D suspended second or a D sus2. Compare the sound. Here's D, here's D sus2. Okay? If you put your little finger on to fret 3 of the high E string, that's a D sus4. Compare the sounds. D, D sus4. D, D sus2. Now, those chords, those suspended chords, sound really pretty and they're sort of floaty in the air. And the movement between the sus2, the, the normal D, and the sus4 is really cool. And importantly, they're quite simple to play once you've got the idea. That's why these chords are very common on guitar, because they just fall really nice into our fingers. Some examples uh, Freddie Mercury used the sus4 at the start of Crazy Little Thing Called Love. And all he's doing is putting that little finger on and off to do that. What got me thinking about doing this video the other day was I was working on the intro riff to uh, Shadow from A Star Is Born, the Lady Gaga song. And the end of that riff goes something like this. And the student I was working with thought that was really cool and sounded very complicated. And it's not particularly. All that's happening is that it's a D sus 2. That finger hammers on to make a normal D and then off again to make uh, a D sus 2. The, the strings, let's do it. Okay, so once you get into these chords, a D sus2, a D sus4, and then a normal D, you'll find all sorts of little riffs in there you can play around with. It's been used loads of times. Have a go playing with them, see what you can find. The Beatles liked it, the Birds did it, Led Zeppelin did it. Okay, those are the chords. Now for some very simple theory. A major chord is made up of three notes. If you think of your major scale, if we give each note from that scale, here's a D major, if we give each of those notes a number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that one's eight or one again because it's the first note in the next octave, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, then three notes put together would make a major chord, the one, the three, and the five in the case of D, those notes are D, F sharp and A. Now when we play our normal D chord, the notes we've got are open D, A, another D and then an F sharp. So although we're strumming four strings, we're only hearing three notes, if that makes sense. We've got two Ds in there. So the third, F sharp, is up here on the E string fret two. Now if I take that finger off, I don't have an F sharp anymore, I have an E. And E is the second note in D major. It's a tone higher than D. So now instead of an F sharp, I've got an E in that chord. Or instead of a third, I now have a second. D suspended second. Okay? If I put my little finger on to make the D sus4, I have the fourth note there, a G. Rather than an F sharp, I've got a G. So, suspended second, put a second note in instead of the third. Suspended fourth, I 
put a fourth note in instead of the third. Okay, so we now have those two new chords, a D sus2, or D suspended second, and a D sus4, or a D suspended fourth. Now these are very useful chords, for example, any time that you're on D for a while and you, you want to add a bit to it to stop it getting boring, you could throw in those suspended chords. So here's just D, chuck in a D sus2, I can just play around with a D and a D sus2, or we'll use a D sus4 as well together. Just add something to that D chord. Um, there's lots of riffs and lots of bits of song that use this. You'll find them as you start to play around. A few ideas. As I mentioned before, the Beatles liked it in You've Gotta Hide Your Love Away. There's that sort of lick at the end of the singing in the chorus that goes. Which is just a D sus4 to a D to a D sus2 back to a D. Um, one that comes to mind often when I'm playing these is this one. Which is a Katie Tunstall song, I believe. Led Zeppelin did it. Uh, so some other stuff going on at the bottom of the chord. But the basic idea is that playing around with those on the top there. Okay, so sus2, sus4, d sus2, d sus4. Very simple to play, sounds great. Hopefully that was some help. Thank you very much. I hope to do one of these again soon. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more. You can hear my music online. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, all the rest of it. Tell me in the comments whether this was useful or not. Let me know anything else that you'd like me to try and explain for you in a future video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.